Welcome to The High Ground, a Star Wars Shatterpoint podcast. Welcome, everybody, to the newest Fifth Trooper podcast, uh, The High Ground, um, hosted by me, Mike Barry, and Evan Boris. Hey, Evan, how you doing? Hey, pretty good. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm very excited to talk about uh, AMG's uh, newest game. Um, and it's it's quite fun. Yeah, I was okay. So full disclosure, um, when I got it and I painted it, I wanted to hate it. I was going in. I'm like, uh, because I just can't. It's like another. I have MCP, and luckily I got to like just buy my Guardians of the Galaxy and be done there. And then I spent so much time in Legion that I'm like, oh man, I hope this just sucks, so I can, I can just play it a couple times and be like, nope, not for me, and then like move on. And go back to Done, Legion. And move on to the next thing or whatever. Yeah. yeah, you know, like not look in my rear view mirrors. But then I played it and I was playing with my uh one of the one of my friends who I was doing the demo with, and we both kind of wanted that same thing, like, but we're like, man, this is good. Uh, this is good. <laughs> it's uh we're trying to find like, well, you know, I guess uh these lightsabers are real thin. Uh you know, like just like nitpick, like nothing. Oh, but they're they're so much better than the Legion models though. They might be thin, but they look dope as hell. They look real good and they actually paint pretty easy too. Um and uh so I wanted to go in to not like the game and end up loving it. And uh so I'm on I'm on the Shatterpoint train. Uh I still love all my other games, but Shatterpoint's like it's just like nice to bring eight models to a table and or less looking at some of the armies coming out, maybe like six. Uh, uh, so to bring that many models and just go, you know? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm super excited to, to really get into it. And uh, I've played like 10 or 12 games at this point. And um, it is, uh, you know, obviously the models looked really dope. And I think everybody going into it knew that. And uh you know, I was just kind of hoping the game was as good as the models. And so far, it has been. Um, I've been, um, I'm ready to cheat on Legion a little bit. So, <laughs> yeah, it's a cool, like, uh, it, I said this about Onslaught, where I'm like, it's a good side game. Like, you can put your time and money into, like, 40K or Legion, and that'd be your primary, like, uh, I got to get my army painted, and I got um, all the rule, like, you know, all the cards and everything, and I can really focus on that. But there's something to be said about, Oh, uh, Anakin. Okay, just get his stack card and his uh like attack stance card, and I'm good to go. I don't have to worry yep. about upgrades or like you know anything. Uh, just put them together, then and then take off. So it's an excellent like. Um, it's I don't look at it as replacing Legion. Um, I look at it as like a. I'll go to an event for Legion, and then if I bomb out or there's another day, I can play Shatterpoint, and still like get all the time out of my my time at events. Totally, totally. I uh, we'll see where it ends up going, but I definitely I'm excited to talk about um, Shatterpoint, and I think before we get too much farther, we should probably hit our standard housekeeping stuff. Um, this is a Fifth Trooper podcast. Make sure you go check us out at thefifthtrooper.com. We sell all sorts of sweet stuff, mats, uh, Shatterpoint models. If that's we what do you're sell into. Shatterpoint, yes, um, as well as all the Legion stuff. Uh, I imagine. Do we have MCP these days? I I, I actually don't know exactly what our yeah are. yeah. So we can get anything AMG. Um, and if there's something on their site that you would like to purchase through us to help us out, um, send an email to contact at thefifthtrooper.com, and Jay will see if we can get that for you. Um, we will carry all of Shatterpoint. Uh, all of the models. We the one thing we won't carry. Uh, and I'll, I'll give you a little behind the scenes on that is the core set. Uh, and it's not because we don't want to give you the core set because the core set's amazing value. Uh, it's so sick. It's just the amount. It's it's such a big box. Uh, the shipping kills us. So yeah, uh, it's not that we don't want to sell that, um, but it's much easier for us to survive <laughs> by not selling it. Like, uh, so we sell, we'll have all the unit expansions. You can pre-order them through us. Uh, and we'll get them out to you. Um, but you can still go to your uh, local store, get your uh, core set, and then if you'd like to support us, uh, get our, all the expansions through us, and uh, you know help both both parties out. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. I uh, definitely a lot of stuff to take a look at there. And if you're not into buying things, but do want to support us other ways, there's always Patreon.com/slash The Fifth Trooper, um, and you can go check us out there. Um, cool. So. I guess uh, let's go ahead and, and start talking about our Shatterpoint experiences. Um, so Evan, you said you uh, 
you had demoed a few games. Um, how what what has your experience been like playing this game so far? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, so by by no means, uh, I am not an expert. <laughs> I've I've, I've had no, two games. None of us are yet. <laughs> yeah. No. And like, uh, I'm I'm very much learning as well. Everybody. Um, I've played the first game was like took like three or four hours because we had like we didn't know what we were doing right. We set them up and we're going through the rules and everything at every attack. We had to look at the book to get the make sure we did the attack text. It's not that hard. But like for the attack time, make sure we got that right. And then there'd be a rule. So we had I had one rule book printed out. And I, like I had the rule book that came with the book. And we're like, four of us are like, it's like a war council trying to like figure out what's going on. Um, and I still had a good time. Uh, and then the second game I played was uh, uh, last week, last Friday. And I got we got through it. Uh, and it was good. Like uh, it came down to like a one point difference two times. I lost. Uh, but like it's still... I still felt like I was in it, even when I was losing, uh, yep. which is nice to know that like you're it always felt like I could have if I had positioned better or if uh, uh, maybe a die roll had gone my way here or something like that. Right. Like I felt like I was always in it and I wasn't getting just like uh, landslided. Uh, so um, my experience has so far have been um, I like the flow of the game. I like the no turns. Uh, you just kind of keep going. Well, I'm sorry, no rounds. Let me say that. Like you just kind of keep, yeah. keep flopping out. Um, and to everybody who thought like a lot of the concern for the game was, oh, it's too random. And I'm like, well, there's some of that. Uh, but it's not any more or less random than like pulling the tokens out of a bag in Legion, really. Um, I would because... say it's less random, to be honest. And I would agree uh, with that. Uh, like cause... overall. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but to my last point, like, like some characters, like Obi Wan. You can pay the force point to like when you pull a guy to put him to the side to then choose to take him or pull another one. Um, like Obi-Wan's got ability that manipulates that. Grievous, I believe, I think his card has an ability that manipulates that. So there's like it is a random pull at the top of the deck, but you do have a lot of tactical flexibility to like manage that. So you don't it okay. So like in Legion, if you don't have improvised orders and like let's say you're pulling Anakin and you pull him first, and you, you're just like ah, crap. You know, like, uh, like you're not here. You can set them aside and then pull another something else, and then, like, you know, keep going. Yeah, and I think, um, maybe to your point about the game being kind of like no rounds and stuff. I also feel like the game is very much, um, like fully powered up on the first turn of the game. Yes. Um, in, in the, like the game just starts and you're in the thick of it. There's no, you know, in Legion and, uh, I haven't played a lot of crisis protocol, but even some crisis protocol games I've played, like, it feels like the first couple turns are like setting up for things. Yes. To some yeah. degree. And Absolutely. there's a lot, there is some of that in Shatterpoint, but because of the, how the objective works in Shatterpoint, things are just like off the chain from the get go. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I have found um and so i i found that like while order control obviously matters uh, i guess card control or unit control or however we want to talk about it um like at the beginning of the game particularly anything you draw off the top can do something relevant without yes. having to like be super concerned about like oh i wasted this activation i don't it's it's very difficult I've found over the, like 10 games or so to like draw a card and be like, there's nothing I can do with this. Um, I, like you always generally feel like you can do something relevant with whatever unit it is. Um, unless it's like miles away, in which case you maybe need want to work on your positioning, which we yeah, can talk about. Yeah. <laughs> well. like, yeah. Whoops. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, cool. Cool. Yeah. I definitely have, um, I think I think the game is very positioning oriented, and um, I think the strategy layer and that has been really. Uh, it's something I kind of like miss a little bit from Legion. Um, I feel like we've kind of like gotten away from it with like these like units that are very like overpowered and like not overpowered, but they like kill stuff instead of like yeah. the positioning mattering a ton. Um, and this game is like very much like positioning is kind of king. Um, and you know you're like shoving things everywhere and um like fighting over points with abilities that like kind of act like force push which is like always been my favorite part of legion and in this like it's just everywhere yeah everybody's um, got it like it's uh you'd be surprised how even like 
uh, looking at uh, some clones. I think some of their shots even just push you around. On yeah, uh, yeah, actually, uh, um, like so, the five hundred first, they can take a track where they just push you, and like that's cool, right? Like it's uh, you know, some of the force users, uh, like Asajj and a couple other people, have like a force push built into their tree. That's like mm-hmm. they well, they have an ability of force push, and then you get like a free use of it if you go down the path while you're doing something else. But other people like, uh, 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 wow, his name's in front of me and my brain's just not reading it. Obi-Wan, holy cow. Sorry, I split that out for a minute. Uh, Obi-Wan, uh, like, it's it's kind of built into his kit where, like, if you take one of the stances, he's more opt to, like, just knock you around. Um, but no, like, yeah, it's actually, like, huge. And, uh, yeah, like, you push, everyone has got to push. So, like, it's all about, it's not, it's not only just going to happen to you and you don't get to do it, I guess is what I'm thinking. It's like, yeah, it's not like, oh, I didn't bring a force user. I guess I'm just going to get, like, uh, round six KP. Someone moves up and his force pushes me off the middle point, and now I lose. You know, now it's like, no, no, no. The B ones can shoot sometimes and like knock you around, right? Like it's, uh, Yo, it's it's kind of wild like that. And I think that's fun. B ones are terrifying in this game. I don't, Dude, I don't know what your experience <laughs> has been, but man, they uh, I think the keyword they've got is like pr- protection. I think it. Uh, what is it? Are they? Um, uh, combat AI protocols. No, it's like it's like uh, B one battle. Droids. Oh, I hate this job. I hate this job. Yes, I hate this job. While well, while they're um like contesting an objective, they have protection, and what that means is like they just take one less damage from every source. Yeah, <laughs> and it's just like they turn they they're really hard to kill. Um, I don't know. So actually, I, real I've... quick, while we're talking about B ones, um, yeah. because I'm still grasping some of the nuances of this game when. A unit that has two models in it. So, right, there's two B1 models. When you say, I'm going to make a ranged attack, do they both get to shoot? Or is my it like under- what? My understanding is that they both shoot. Yes. Okay, that's how we were doing it because I was having a hard, there's like a mention of it in one spot, but it doesn't another. And so we were, the first time we played, we just assumed it was one. Like they, oh, they're sure. both there in the shot. And I'm like, oh, that seems okay. And then we read it again and I'm like, wait a minute, they, they both get seven dice at me and i'm like and well that that makes it um for uh anakin he's got deflect and says once around or once a turn you can use this and it didn't make much sense to me because i was thinking well he's only ever really going to get attacked once a turn no because if both b1 shoot it's still in the same one so you can block one and he's got to take the other and i'm like ah okay this is all if, if a wording sounds weird it'll make sense later like that's how i'm a lot of Things will this game go with me and it's actually really cool with like shooting with like twice with the same unit because you can like knock knock a unit one way and then like knock it in a different direction from a different <laughs> angle like yeah, after yeah. you do you can like kind of like set it up like it's it's weird and like, like the first knock changed the second knocks angle yeah um but that's probably a little complicated for uh day one cast here. it is it is uh, it's just uh <laughs> it's just to to your point it's just like a cool thing Right, like your positioning is two clones come up in like a across, you know, like the flanking actually matters, oh, right? 100%. Like, yeah. um, that's like an issue with Legion is like, uh, sometimes flanking if you're like uh, take Rogue One, they can drop anywhere they want. It doesn't really matter sometimes. They just turn and get shot. Uh, this is yep. like, oh crap, there's a clone over there and a clone over here, and I gotta think if they just shoot me and they get their path okay, if I go get a bad roll, they're gonna like kick me way off so it's like it's i better position myself so i don't get like i can mitigate that right like it's just some cool like thinking that i don't normally get to do yeah and i think that um also like it, as opposed to a game like legion um the the core units are like they're like more important but in different ways in this game and that like you're when you activate the 501st you activate the b1s um, they can go and contest two objectives at once. Yeah. Um, which yeah, is they're... like in the early turns actually kind of huge. Yeah. Um so um I guess I guess maybe we should just like, I don't know, do we just want to talk about how the game is played, I guess? And then sure. and then I think what we'd like to do for all you listeners is our our battle plan here is we're gonna talk about kind of one squad every episode. Um this episode we're gonna talk about uh Skywalker and, and his boys, uh, which you can, I believe, see rotating up here, uh, painted by 
Evan himself. Um, so I was real. I I put these up here as a test to see if this looked good. And uh, as I was putting them up there, Mike uh, looked and he's like, "Does Anakin got a little shine on him?" Like, yeah, okay, he, story. He's been to the club. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, pretty much. You just like man. All of them. So I was sealing my guys. Like I painted all the five hundred first, and then or the squad. Then I was like sealing them, and like I stopped to take a break or something, and I came back, and I picked up the silver can I was using to spray my my tools to make them look like Beskar, and I just went once. And I went, <gasps> I did like a double, like deep breath. So Anakin's got a little bit of a, I, I like to think he's doing a swing and he's coming back and then a robot's exploding at B1 or something. So it's just sparks shooting up on him. So he's got a little, he's got a little uh, uh, David Bowie vibe going yeah. on and I, I'll take it. But, uh, but uh, yeah, this is, um, I'm trying to, the parasite in my brain is telling me to paint all these models. Uh, so I'm trying to get them all done. And uh, so you can take a look at the models because I think um, they're, like one of the, there's a lot of cool parts about the game but they're one of the best it's just neat star wars models that are a reasonable scale to paint and i, I don't want to seem like i'm coming at legion too much i'm not i really do love legion uh but like it's just a, a refreshing to like get a model that i don't like for for uh comparison like here's Jin, right and like the size you can kind of see is uh it doesn't look that much bigger when you're looking at it here but it it is like paintbrush a little bit hard to get stuff. Yeah, it's it's pretty substantial. And like, I always have a hard time getting little details on Legion models. And I think it's going to be a lot easier with uh, with these bigger, bigger Shatterpoint um, sculpts. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah. Uh, do you want to start with how like um, the basic gameplay? Yeah. So um, effectively uh, right now, um, the way that, you know, kind of just like to kick into the game, uh, each each person is going to have two squads. Um, a squad is a primary character, a secondary character, and a supporting unit. Um, you can see an example of one up here uh, rotating on the screen. We've got the primary character being Anakin, the secondary character being Rex, and the supporting characters, which are one unit, is the 501st clones. Um, so you're going to ha basically have two of these uh, squads in your army. And uh, you and your opponent both show up to the game. Uh, you kind of like um, are going to deploy your units. Uh, I think it's range two from the board edge. If yeah, I they correctly. do the um, the uh, 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 MCP thing where you like you put the range two down. And you can like put your guy all the way out as long as he's touching the tool. You're good to go. Yeah. Um, and in the game, the the principle of the game is actually like pretty simple in that once you're set up, um, you each have a deck of you know, cards, which are essentially order tokens or however you want to think about it. Um, you draw off the top and you go with that unit. Um, there are things that can change that. We don't need to get into it, this specific instance, but um, you kind of go back and forth, activating a unit off the top of your library and or deck. Um, and the concept of the game is that there are nine King of the Hill points across the battlefield. Um, at any time, I believe three to five of them are active and they change from uh, we're struggle to struggle. Um, we'll get into the struggles uh, either today or in later casts. Um, and basically, you're just fighting over these points the whole game. And because of it's kind of like King of the Hill, positioning really matters and that you're constantly pushing their guys off the points. They're pushing your guys off the points. Um, and uh, there's a number of competing factors to decide who like has control of a point at any given time. Um, that's what the game is right now. Yeah, uh, I, I I kind of I definitely I've heard some people be like, oh man, I like really wish that there were like other mission types. I actually think that this mission um, on its own is like incredibly uh, in depth as far as like replayability and stuff goes. Like yeah. I, I I'm 12 games in and I could play another 50 of this mission and and probably not be bored, I think. Yeah, um, no, I'm on the same team. So I uh you know, at first I'm on paper, I'm like, well, that's not a lot, right? When you're like just looking at it as a thing, but when you start playing it, um uh I like that you have to deploy not knowing what the first flop is gonna be. Yeah, and so you have to like you you take like your best guess, like I guess the middle, and then we'll spread out. You know, like yep. that's I think that's cool. Um, it's not like perfect information. I do, I do my best in games when I don't have perfect information. When I have to just like fly by seeing my pants and like 
go full Indiana Jones and just really like come up with uh, situations on the fly, making the best of a bad situation. That's what it is. So, yeah. yeah. Um, and this is all about that. Like uh, my game, I lost like I so I lost the first struggle, um, which was like a, a just a cross in the middle. I'm like, OK, whatever uh, I get. Then when you flip the next mission, the loser of the last struggle gets to pick which of the next setups there are. And so I had two that I mostly controlled and one that I didn't. So I said, all right, I'll take that one. And so I had my guys lined up and then you roll a die and you see which one of those three points will be worth an extra point. It kept going to the one I didn't control. And then we like, at first I thought it was just me that I had him roll and we're just like, you know, I'd roll and I'm like, ah, ah, and walking around. Uh, but it was exciting because even though I was doing the, I did what was best in my favor. It still didn't quite work out. And yeah. like, that was okay. Like, cause to him, like that sucks, <laughs> you know, like you, you get the flip and I get the better positioning and then. So it, it was random that bit, but like it, it still worked out. Like it still like played, played well. So I, I do like that. The, the priority mission changes. Um, I think that's cool. And just to add to it uh, in like, when they actually do like organized play, they released all the paperwork for it. Uh, did you read about the mission critical status? I didn't know. Yeah. So uh, during the last half hour of the tournament, like the each round, uh, the the counselor or whoever they're called in this game calls for mission critical, and each point is worth more points, just so it like swings Ooh. the game. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I, I don't know if I love that, but uh, but interesting. It's uh uh I I have to read the rules more clearly, but I know like they call during the last bit they call mission critical, and so that's when like uh either it's like more struggle happens or each each time you get a point it's worth one more, but it like okay. makes it like like you need to end it like it's like you know it's like sure. the, the plane's leaving the the lat's leaving we gotta get on the lat and get out of here. we gotta grab the, the MacGuffin and get out you know get out of here so it's like um that's only in like I think. Uh, there's like casual tournament rules and like big tournament rules, but it's okay. in one of those. Um, and I just think that's like thematically cool uh, of just like, you know, Definitely time cool. to go. Yeah. Time yeah. to go. So uh, uh, it's got, it's got like, this game is ripe for like uh, cool Star Wars moments, cool vibes, like, and you get to play just the cool guys. Like, I don't care about, generic rebel trooper number five but i really do yep. care about like uh if my boy cal kestis ever gets released you know like that'd be i'm kind of in there so uh even like they even did models already for uh the obi-wan show and yeah like, i was i was really impressed with that i i i will confess i already bought it yeah me too Absolutely. <laughs> like, uh, and also um the cards are gonna be foil oh really yeah mm -hmm. that come in the box or at least that's what an early unboxing said so Maybe okay, okay. take that with a, a grain, grain of salt. Yeah, but like I, I saw, I thought I saw on the Facebook or the Discord that someone showed that. So they, because they did that with um the MCP kits when they got the, when you had to rebuy Spider Man and uh, Doc Ock when it sure. was like a different version. They had the little set, they gave foil cards on that to kind of give you some nice little, like, hey, thank you. Here's a cool foil thing. Uh, but yeah, I'm a man, I'm, it's the, the mission dynamics cool. Uh, we both had some big swings when we're playing, and like that's cool. It's fine when both people get the swings, right? It yes. makes it so like it's going back and forth, and it has that cool. The one thing I do like about MCP and this, like, oh man, uh, Anakin just had a real bad roll, and he got like three shot. It just just how it went. Well, I get to do it two more times. He's not dead, yeah. right? Like, right, like like there's redundancy to the point where you can't really like like just get KO'd and you're like out of it. Yeah. I feel like um it takes a lot. Yeah, it does. And I to your point like about like all the characters and stuff, like the 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 army that I the army squad whatever you want to call it that I'm I'm running right now, the list I guess is it's like Anakin, Padawan, Ahsoka, Kenobi, Rex. It's just like it's like it's like I'm playing the Clone Wars TV show, right? And I'm just like and I, I can't do that like yeah. it's not even it's not like yeah. i can't i can't legally put those characters all on the, <laughs> for, for, first first of all ahsoka doesn't exist in republic and legion yeah. but but like even if she did like rex anakin and kenobi are all commanders like they they don't go in the you, 
can't put yeah. three commanders in the same list, right? Like I couldn't even do that if I wanted to. Um, and the fact that I can like put them all on the table and they all feel like really powerful and cool and like um is really, really awesome. I think the cinematic moments you were talking about, like, um, you know, again, not trying to put my boy Legion down, but yeah. like lightsaber fights feel a bit more like lightsaber fights in this yeah game. a little more uh, intense here right like uh um i will say too uh that people were worried about so like in my in my lizard brain i can't put like uh uh mixing fa- like dooku with uh the support of rex like you can but like it in my brain i just don't want to i'm like no yeah you, yeah but to be fair like a lot of times, like you get benefits just sticking within fat, like within faction and within like keywords. So like, uh, like you really don't want to take Kalani without some sort of droid support. Oh yeah, that would be that seems like pretty bad. Yeah, and, right. Uh, and like, and I think as we go through all the squads, like people will start. You'll see the synergies between all of these units. Like the boxes are really designed to go together for the most part. Um, yeah, and uh, I, I want to dissuade some like, oh well you can mix them like you you the rules say you can but i really don't think there's a whole lot of benefit to to do that and you get so people worried that the like you know teams wouldn't feel thematic and cool at least not yet and there's quite a few guys out right now like it doesn't really feel that much benefit to break out of the box unless you got something else going on but like so it still feels like good guys are with good guys and bad guys are with bad guys i think that's what most people worried about is like that that mix but even like take um uh uh like mother talzan like she's got the dathomir keyword asajj has the dathomir keyword it feels thematic that they would like work together you know like that's you can not you can't mix oh you can't mix because they both be leader on different side but you could like keep do the keyword across and still feels cool right still feels like yeah okay i could see this like i could see this making sense right just they would team up at some point so it's i people who are worried about like mixing like keeping your food separate and you know <laughs> i feel like it's like me I'm, I'm a pig i'll just eat like a trough but uh it it doesn't feel like that still feels like when i play ob cody two two twelfth and then uh anakin rex and two five first like that feels very strong and yes. like just like yeah okay and then i put i usually pitch that for my my demo game with dooku um jango magnas and then asajj kalani b1s and then like all the kalani's ability is very good like all the robots you get a free move and then like kalani and dooku go beat stuff up and then it feels like it still feels cool even just doing the box stuff it still feels like this is right and this is like strong right i'm not like giving up giving up uh like good builds for theme it feels like Mm -hmm. i'm rewarded for building for theme if that makes sense Hundred percent. I'm sure that there will be like combo stuff like outside of boxes and stuff. Oh, yeah, but yeah. There is there is enough combo y stuff within the boxes that uh that definitely at least for your first, you know, however many games with that squad, like you don't need to break it up for it no. to, yeah. to be complicated, right? Absolutely. Um so hell, let's uh let's just jump right into our first squad, eh? Yeah, okay. Um, and and we can kind of like give everybody an idea of what we're talking about. So, um, the first squad we're gonna we're gonna talk about uh is uh the Anakin Rex five hundred first squad in the core box. Um, Let me do pretty... this. Let me do this. So, can I? I'm gonna be a little tricksy here while we're doing this. Can I share? All right, I do like the spinny, but uh, how about this? Nope, how about stop share, new share, and then we're going to say this. Ooh, 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 look at that. All right, hey, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, you even got them all. I don't know how you get them laid out like that, but that's fine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can only get one to pop up at a time. Um, so, yeah, we're going to... so. We'll take a look at the the primary character here. This is obviously a Republic squad. Um, I, again, every episode, we're just going to kind of like talk about a single squad and how it works together and how you can use it. And I think as we go through this stuff, we can sort of talk about some of the gameplay rules that um, these abilities break. And and maybe that'll kind of set the stage for the game a bit. Sure. Um, so uh, 
I think uh, Anakin is seven squad points. He has, which basically um, on the, these are, we're, we're looking right now at all of the cards that kind of matter to his stat block, but on the flip side of his unit card, it tells you how many squad points he is and how many force points he gets. So the squad points is how much uh, like things you have to spend to on characters and supporting units to go in his squad, right? We already talked a little bit about you get a primary, a secondary, and a supporting unit. And the amount of squad points on the card is how many points you get to spend on the secondary that goes with the primary and the supporting characters that go with the primary. Um, so Anakin is a little bit like more of an expensive hero. So mm -hmm. you only get seven left over. Um, I don't know what your experience has been so far with Anakin, but he's busted. Yeah, he's really good. He's real good. He's really good. He's like, Obi-Wan's my, like, I need to take the center point and just live. And yeah. then uh, Anakin, so I send after, like, uh, Dooku, like, feels yeah. cool. So I send him out yep. and we have this, like, crazy fight. Dooku's real hard to damage, but Anakin gets to swing twice with his abilities. It's really, like, it's cool. It's good. Yeah, he's he's a he's a machine. Uh, yeah. And again, is my favorite character so far in this game. Um, yeah, though cool. I'm I'm hoping Mace breaks that trend. I've been oh, waiting dude. for him in Legion, and Man. one of the reasons I'm playing Shatterpoint is all is because I get to put Mace Windu on the table. So, dude, this, this pack's called Party's Over. Like, yeah, it's it's really yeah. like they've been the the name of their packs like uh, Grievous's Appetite for Destruction, like their their Guns and Roses song. Like it's just cool. Like it's it's awesome. I love it. So, but uh, yeah, no, he's like. Uh, he's like my my damage dealer. Both his so every main hero has two stances, and it's like think of this as their attack card. And the big guys get two sides. Usually, usually, one's more defensive, one's more attack. Um, some uh, we most of all of them out right now are kind of like that. But eventually, I assume they'll maybe like long range, short. I don't know. They could do anything really. I also um, think like some of them like Kalani's. Um one of his i guess he's only got one stance but like his is like more synergy based like yes. it's yes. it's not really built on damage per se it's like you can you can trigger the, the abilities on the front of his card with his you know stance um which is cool absolutely um so to go over some stats on uh anakin uh you've got what seven squad points as a four force points He's got four force, which okay. is one of the higher. I think it's just him and Dooku and um, Darth Vader who have uh, four squad points uh, or four yeah, force actually, points. I yeah, think. there's a little. Uh, I should have looked here. Uh, yep, four force points, seven squad points. Uh, yep. Force points are a pool that your usually your secondary and primary hero. Uh, usually, I'm sorry, I haven't seen a secondary hero have it. It's usually two primary heroes give you this pool of like. I, I think of it like mana for whatever reason comes to my head. It's, it's totally like, it's it's like the resource you have that you spend to do cool stuff. And then yep. if you want to call it mana or whatever, like whatever little monkey in my brain says. So uh yeah. for example, force jump is one of your uh force points to do a free move, uh a jump action. Um and then like I'm going to end this as two. Uh so and if something like deflect. Um, this is where it gets a little tricky. It's technically zero, uh, but if you're ever wounded, it adds a force point. So uh, wounded characters takes more to make them do cool things, uh, but that's what those little markers mean. And to go through his stats, 11 health, he can get injured three times. And so what that means is from once he takes 11 damage, he if you've played MCP, he's dazed or knocked out. And then normally in MCP, you'd flip the card and then new abilities or stats. This, you wipe all the damage in one condition, I believe, yes. uh, off. And then you you put an injured marker next to him. And that's to, to denote his abilities. Force jump will cost two if he's injured. Yeah. Um, and he can be injured three times before he's out, which is a lot. Like, you really... I haven't you, gotten my Anakin KO'd yet. Like, no. Completely. Uh, he's got a lot of defense dice. He's got a lot of combat tricks. Uh, to see like a hero go down means the whole other army more or less had to just decide to ground pound you and like ignore and, and the probably, rest of everything else. They'd have to ground pound you and probably get a little lucky because like you don't yeah. get worse at defending yourself, really. Um, yeah, that's a good point, actually. It's like no unit degrades, really, besides the abilities cost more, but you don't get like worse at shooting or worse at defending. 
um, with damage taken. Yeah. Um, but uh, keywords are 501st, Force User, Galactic Republic, Jedi. Um, he's got two stances, the Form 5. Uh, let me say this right. Uh, is it Gemso? It is Gemso. You Gemso. Got and then uh, Form 5, is it Shenan? I think it's Shien, but I Shien? I don't know that one. That one I've heard way less. Um, so I'm not I'm not actually sure on that. <laughs> okay, we're taking a guess. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, let us know in the comments. But uh, he uh, I won't go over like every single number here. But when you're looking at the card, know that um, gray is attack dice thrown, blue is defense dice thrown in in reaction, uh, and so he's got more of an attack stance, more of a defensive stance, um, and a bunch of good abilities. Um, Dash, why don't you go through the abilities on him and let us uh, let us embark. yeah. So um, a couple things about the stance cards before we, we move on from them. Um, you can so you have to pick one stance card to start the game in. Okay, mm -hmm. and um, for if you're new to playing, I recommend pretty much always taking the stance card that has the higher number on the defense dice and just making that the one you start with. Mm -hmm. um, it's just generally prudent. <laughs> safer yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know okay. um and the reason for that is whenever you activate a unit that has multiple stances once during their activation you can switch into the other stance mm -hmm. um so like there's no real downside to just being in the stance that yeah. protects you more at the start of the game because as soon as you pull that unit you can just be like okay i'm in offensive stance let's go right um so that's kind of a cool way is this, how the stance cards work um so with the abilities, uh, Anakin's first one on here is Force Jump. It does cost one Force. And I guess just to kind of kick back to the Force real quick. Um, so Force Points um, are a limited resource. Um, in this case, Anakin gives you four. As you can see uh, on the side here, most of the other primaries give you three. So like generally Anakin, a list that Anakin's going to be in is going to have seven Force Points. Yeah, quite a bit. And it's that, yeah, that's on the higher end for sure. Um, the thing about it is that um, you are not just limited to seven force points. Um, you, when you spend force points, they exhaust. But when you go through your order deck, which is seven cards in total, when you reshuffle it, you get all your force points back. Um, so it's not like you have to... I, I definitely... Um, it, in the first couple of games I played, I was like, oh man, I, this force is like, yeah. feels like, feels important. I should like hold on to it and make sure, sure I yeah, use, yeah. use it. But, but I've actually felt like, uh, as I played more, I'm like, no, this is like to do cool stuff and you should do it as like often as possible. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, um, so that's kind of how you refresh force. There's a, there's a few, uh, characters like Dooku and some other ones that allow you to have like abilities on their card that give you force back um and like maul can spend wounds instead of force and stuff like that which is cool but anakin in this case uh, his, his first ability is force jump um and it says each character in this unit may jump um so i think there's a couple like basic things we can call out here um the rules in this game generally um specify characters and units um and a unit is like a a unit is like a stack card right mm -hmm. a character is a single model and the reason that's important is because um an ability that car targets a character um could only target say half of the 501st right? right yeah um or like half of a b1 spot or whatever um whereas a unit would refer to both of them um and so uh this this says that this character may jump as far as uh, activating or using your units and stuff go, um, in Shatterpoint, you can only um, move once a turn as opposed to in like Legion. And I don't know how, in MCP, can you move twice a turn in MCP? Yeah. Yeah, you okay. can do in MCP. It's it's a good thing to point out that this is not just Star Wars MCP. Uh, like that's good to like, um, differentiate because in MCP, you can do anything twice. So you can like punch, punch, yeah. you can move, move. Um, and this is you can move and then you can do like the dash, like the you smaller. Can't do, you, you can't do that. Oh, you can't. Oh, no. Okay. You cannot do that. Um, both of them are movement actions. Ah, and you, can, okay. you can do one or the other. So there's there's a the dash is a move. And um, if you are not engaged, you can advance, which is like the, the big move. Yeah. Tool. Okay. 
But if you are engaged, your move has to be a dash. Ah, you, can't, okay. you cannot advance while gotcha. you're engaged. <laughs> yeah, uh, that makes sense. Uh, Asajj, like, again, uh, I'm I'm still looking. Asajj, like, did her jump, moved, dashed, and then got, like, Dathomir or something else <laughs> and moved again. And I'm like... <laughs> Wow, oh, she's this is, really this is pretty good. Like, yeah, yeah. I was like, wow, it, she's really cutting the board. <laughs> in in fairness, she is really fast. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like, like she is exceptionally fast. Um, but uh I think uh there on on most units cards in this game, particularly primary and secondaries, you're gonna find a uh like force spender for an additional move. Yeah, um yeah. And 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 Anakin's is force jump. And what this kind of allows you to do, importantly, is the jump often is like not super relevant um, because it's really just you're spending a force to move a second time. Yeah. And and it's notable that this is an activated ability that you're spending force on. So it doesn't count against your two activations. So you can move, jump, and then like attack, mm-hmm. right? Um, and uh, so uh, I guess a couple of cool things about jump. Um, normally, if you're engaged with an an enemy model you can't actually change elevation like you can't climb um but if you have jump you can which is cool um i I guess that's really the only thing that's that's super stellar about it but um yeah i mean it's like a pretty simple ability it's it's pretty simple but it's very iconic like of course jump and uh get just like deciding you're just out of a combat out of a melee like yeah bye like yeah it's pretty good yeah um no it's it's very good um so i'm actually going to skip his second ability here because it's actually it combos with the final one which is yeah that's which is broken yeah um the we're going to talk about his third ability which is deflect um which works very similarly to the uh keyword in legion um it's after a range attack targeting a character in this unit is resolved. Again, you kind of see that like very specific wording they're using yeah. with like characters and units and stuff. You'll see that a lot. And if you if you're not understanding the terminology, it can be a little weird. Um, this unit may use this ability if the attack roll contained one or more failure results. The attacking unit suffers two damage. Um, and and notably, this is against ranged attacks only. Um, there is a there is another version of this ability that's called repost, or yes. I don't know how, how you say that. Yeah, repost. Uh, but yeah, yeah that uh, is for melee attacks. Um, this one's pretty simple. You don't really have to like um, worry about activating it or anything. It just it's just kind of like always on. And like if somebody attacks you and they roll a failure, they just take two. <laughs> you know. Yeah, it's, it's actually like, like uh, that's been I think. Uh, let me just check a couple of people here. Uh, yep. So on civilized, it's the same. The you know, hunker, one or more yeah, results. It's just... Yeah, it's it's pretty like nice to have just like a that everybody uh has some sort of um yeah okay that's Vader's uh like just built and deflect like it really stinks when you spend a dodge and yeah. like Legion and you're like all right deflect and then you get nothing and you're like oh okay I guess uh, where this doesn't is really like, do anything. Yeah, they're rolling so many. Usually, people roll a lot of attack dice. It's not just like two. It's like up to anywhere from five to eight to ten. So the odds yeah. of you getting like uh, a deflect are pretty good. Yeah, I would say that like uh, I don't know what the actual math is, and um, I'm I'm sure that the community will will work that out eventually. But this feels like it's pretty much always on. Like they're yeah, gonna probably yeah. roll a failure. Um, so it's kind of like whatever shoots me takes two damage. Um, so uh, we'll talk about this is where the fun begins. And um, I don't remember the exact term for what, um, like, I think the other one is active and then ongoing. This one might be a passive ability. Okay. Um, I think I would have to, like, look at the names specifically of, like, the, the icons that the yellow squares are. But... This is where the fun begins. And this ability combined with the ability that I skipped is what makes Anakin awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, so when a character in this unit wounds an enemy primary unit or secondary unit, um, and wounding means that you've dealt damage to them equal to their wound threshold and and basically like stun them um, or daze them in MCP terms. After the effect is resolved, move the struggle token one space towards your momentum tokens, um, which is basically the equivalent of like gaining a victory point. Yep. That, then if you the wounded unit was a primary unit, 
every allied republic character not unit but character in your army heals one um so basically anytime anakin um like ko's a, or stuns a character on the other team you get a victory point and if it's their primary unit every unit in your army may heal one and the way heal works is that you don't so you can do one of two things when you heal you can either heal like an actual wound or you can remove a condition um not only can you do that but if you are not wounded and you don't have a condition you can heal or remove a condition from a friendly at range two of you yeah that's really good that's super um, good yeah it's it's crazy and then you pair it with his ability that i skipped earlier which is i'm gonna end this which costs two force and still feels maybe too cheap uh after this unit makes a combat action it may use this ability one character in this unit may make an attack targeting one of the same enemy characters within range and line of sight um basically you get to just swing your lightsaber again at the same unit which makes it really easy to ko things yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> true i mean especially at uh his the standing eight is pretty good when he goes into attack mode yes uh and it's like damage output is pretty reasonable to hit like three four five six seven damage like it's pretty reasonable yeah. to, to ask for like three successes totally. uh and then to get that's pretty like pretty good and then adding a bleed and man it's uh no he's like he's so in the game there's a certain number of actions you can take you can uh was it advance dash in those count advance dash jump or is it climb so it's advance dash climb jump okay. is only available as like a it's, special as okay. a special move yeah um so you can do one of those and then one of those counts as your move and then you can only attack once and yes. so the reason why I'm putting those two out specifically is Anakin gets to do both those twice. Yes. And that's like, yeah. <laughs> he says, uh, forget the rules. I make the rules now. Uh, yep. And he gets to do both those twice. And there's like a couple other actions you can take. You can take a hunker, um, yep. which we'll get to. Like uh, when we talk about Obi-Wan, we'll probably talk about hunkers. Uh, we'll probably talk about it when it comes to it comes to Rex today. Actually. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. Uh, yeah. He can give those out. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yep uh and then uh you you can take a heal or i don't remember what they call it specifically but you can heal one damage or remove a status yeah um, i think it's a recover but a recover. i could be wrong about that yeah it's so many i play so many store. games recover shake they call uh yeah pain like whatever uh so it's um there you have quite a bit of actions at your disposal but it's it's always important to note when a character can like break those rules legally yep. and so being able to say hey i get to swing twice hey i get to move twice long is pretty good like he gets around the battlefield pretty quick and he sw like swings his baseball bat at you and knocks you out so he's he's all around like a blunt force instrument but he does his job very like effectively yes um he just like i think the simplicity in anakin's character i think is really really great and that um it just kind of makes it so that like it's it's you look at this character sheet and you're like i know what this unit does he moves yes. forward and he kills things <laughs> right absolutely and, like, and that's what he does um i think we could we could definitely talk about all the stuff in his trees and stuff but i think um for the first episode like that might be getting a little bit too far in the weeds i don't know what do you think yeah yeah i uh um i guess we could just call out a couple of the abilities uh and, like why sure. they're important on the thing so like Little little uh explosions are damage. So what was well, when I'm teaching the game, what's hard for people to understand is when you when you roll the attack dice and then you roll the defense dice and then you write five hits, you get two defenses, and they think it's three damage. I'm like, no, 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 it's not three damage, it's actually three successes. Yeah, you know, or I think they call them that. Um, and then you follow the tree down from left to right. Um, and then you, when there's an intersection, you pick a path and you just keep going. You can't circle back, it's always Got to keep moving forward. Yeah. Um, explosions are actual damage to the character. Um, uh, bleed is <laughs> bleed is bleeding. Uh, yep. Blood blood drops are bleeding. Um, I think that's free jump. That is a free jump. Yes. Um, the little jump icon, and then that's a uh, that is pinned, I believe. Yes, that's pinned. That's the one where you can't move. Yep. Um, and then that's the shove. Yep. Uh, and then that's the reposition yourself. 
So mm-hmm. he can like smack, smack, make you bleed, jump to somebody else, uh, get like shove that guy. Like you can do like some nutty stuff. Uh, uh, not shove somebody else, but like smack, smack, jump out of the way of like an incoming like someone has to move and then shoot you. Now they can't like oh focus or aim. You can aim in this game. I yes, forgot about that. Um, yeah. to add an extra die, so he can make it hard to hit him back after he gives you like a big smack. He can just like leave, which is well not. Uh, not only that, but like if you if you if you also are going to trigger the shove, you can use the jump to reposition so you like shove in the right direction because it's, oh, it's resolved that's, sequentially. Yeah, oh, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. yeah so you yeah. can like just yeah, okay, that's cool. Uh, I didn't even think yeah. about that. Um, yeah, but uh, so uh, yeah, like when we get more into like some of the like uh, more of the tech of the game, we'll get into like more in depth. But uh, just being able to read this is good. Um, for example, also in his in his uh, attack stance, his um, it's like a focus in X wing or surging in Legion. I guess is the way to describe it. Where like it's called expertise, so it's like yeah, a symbol that weird. does weird. nothing unless you do something with it, right? Yeah, um, yeah. Or wilds in uh, uh, in MCP where it's so the difference, like why this is the hurdy one and why this is the not so hurdy one is. When you roll, let's say you roll eight, out of eight dice, maybe nine, because focus in this game, um, or aim or whatever you want to call it, um, as a die doesn't let you re-roll. So yeah. when you throw all those dice out, the more of the wilds you get, or focus or whatever you want to call expertise. them, it's expertise yeah. here. Sorry, my brain, too many games. Um, you're fine. Uh, the more you get, the more crits he gets, and crits cannot be blocked. Ever. Uh, well, I shouldn't yeah. say ever. There, yeah. there, are... like some shenanigans. There, and there's some shenanigans that are right here. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> right, like... to, to that point, uh, he says, so Chris can't be blocked. And whereas if you look at his defensive side, it just adds successes um, yeah. until you get four. But if you get four plus, that's nuts. So uh, odds yeah, are I getting like, that's not really yeah. a thing. Um, so you get uh, where these can be blocked and these cannot. So that's yeah. important to know. And then his defensive stance, um, he says, when I get a, a like a, a f- expertise here, I get a free block, and then I turn one of your crits into a hit, and so that means that one maybe that one lucky crit that the B one Scott you go nah, it's just gonna be a hit, uh, and then his defensive stance gives you more, uh, gives you that that coveted plus four if that ever happens, <laughs> but mostly it's like he uh he can heal himself in the stance right like healing, uh, heal two. Like he can be real hard to kill and just leave. He can disarm you. Like he's got some real good stuff in there. Um, man, I didn't even think about. I'm like, you just opened my mind about the <laughs> jump and then sequential move. Like that's really good. There's some crazy stuff you can do with the trees if like you know what you're doing. Um, and like like on his on um, you know we're, you're talking about his defensive form. Like if you go down the bottom of his defensive form, he shoves three times. And when you shove, you not only move your opponent. Uh, one but yeah. you can advance one as well so you can advance three times and then just jump like, again keep pushing with, with the yeah yeah yeah, yeah. You, you can you can like literally move across the board like really far with the bottom of his tree here on on that that's side. Guys, so, man yeah because normally um, i'm i'm in such a like when i'm in the game i'm just happy to get successes i'm like oh okay how much damage and we're like uh you know put the card up to your face like take four and i'm like okay as so i'm putting him down but like that's really funny because it's it feels like a lightsaber fight like he's going crazy like anakin or he's just bashing him the guy's just on the defensive like trying he's on not the defensive to get... moving back moving back and then anakin gets him where he wants and like jumps into the objective token you weren't contesting yeah <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah that's a good point that's it, oh like, man uh... It like and now you are right yeah and, and like and anakin already advanced and then force jumped into you and now he just speed one speed one speed one and then jumped again <laughs> you know that's like, cool yeah it's really um, that's really cool so it's there's when we you know i was thinking about it and i'm like man oops we were playing movement wrong we thought you could only do uh one like we you couldn't dash or I mean advance advance you could advance and dash I forget what game does that there's something where you can't I think, do the same um, place. I I played a lot of uh what is it um it's not strike team it's uh kill team uh, 
Kill That's team. where I was kill, getting it kill from. Team. Yep. Kill team does that. And and I actually, my first game of Shatterpoint, I played like that. And then I actually, I was talking to uh, Matt Bronson, who's like pretty into, into Shatterpoint and is kind of like, you know, he, he, he's like way more, he's played like 40 games, I think yeah, at this yeah. point. And is like playing, you know, at all, all sorts of places. And, um, he's just like yeah you definitely can't move twice <laughs> and i was like oh <laughs> oh, whoops. oh all right all right um and but there's so many like movement abilities built yes. into these characters that yeah. it's not really that big deal. yeah it's like turn one is like you're taking some objectives getting things lined up and then turn to action like like right like not even turn two but like guy three or something right like it's because right it's just so fluid how you keep going um yeah. But yeah, the movement picked, and that's I didn't even think about that. Like, man, all right, mind, yeah. uh, mind waking mind me up here. a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, there's a ton of cool stuff. So, shall we, shall we talk about his his boy CC seven five six seven? Hey, the game Rex is good, and look at that. <laughs> yeah, hooray! Hey, now uh, we'll see how long <laughs> Rex is. Rex is really good at this game. Yes, I was he actually, is. Um, Super cool. Really, really. Uh, yeah. Um, do you want to go through this unit card or do you want me to sure, yeah. take it? Um, I'll, I'll go through this one because there's <laughs> – so my problem with Rex is uh, that he's got a lot going on. And yep. uh, if you don't play him a lot, uh, just picking him up and you're like, I move and shoot. Oh, okay. Like you miss – the whole point right like he's uh i forget so much i'm still forgetting things with him because all like all of his abilities are like for the most part are like don't happen on his turn yeah yeah yeah. (laughs) it's kind of cool because he feels like that my favorite scene of the clone wars was like the call me captain like Mm -hmm. he sneaks in there and he just meets echo and fives the first time and it's that like what do we call you he's like call me sarge and call me captain and i'm like uh that's so cool and he goes in (laughs) So it's cool to feel like this. He's like a threat, like he's been on the battlefield for a while. So he's actually a threat. Yeah. Um, so we got a uh, get a move on soldier. So it's neat thing about this. It's like a passive that happens at the start of the unit's activation, and on the cards, uh, let's see, on the cards, it um actually gives you a reminder text, uh, about that, which I thought was very very kind because it's very yeah. easy to forget. Uh. Let me see if I got one pulled up here. Yeah, da, 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 da. Where are you, Rex? Um, here we go. So, oh, you know what? We're not looking at the camera anymore. Let me put these back. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's so fine. there's a little mark on it. Um, it's it's the same. Here. It's the same mark that you got hovered over right here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's uh, that's on the card. So it reminds you um, about that. But so it's get a move on, soldier. Uh, at the start of this unit's activation, choose uh, choose a character in this unit or another allied Galactic Republic character. The chosen character may uh, dash and yep. gain a hunker. Yep. Uh, hunkers, okay. We'll we'll before we move on, we'll say what hunkers are. Um, hunkers are actually how you get cover, really at all, uh, right? Like you need a hunker for just about everything. They ch- yeah, there was so I think and, and notably, I think this was a day one rules change. And I think in the rule book, it probably reads different. I would have to go back and read it. Um, yeah. orig- originally, you could gain cover from just being like behind terrain. Um, now you have to have a hunker token to have the hunker token itself gives you cover. And if you have a hunker token, you also can gain cover from the terrain around you. So think of it as light and heavy cover. Yeah, except I'm pretty sure, and uh, someone smarter than me can probably correct me, but I, I'm fairly sure you can have multiple hunker tokens. Oh, I think so too. Uh, I believe so because, like, I think Obi One calls that Ken- out. Kenobi calls it out. I just like it's like one of those things that like I haven't really gotten into yet. Like, I haven't actually gotten two hunker tokens on a unit. Yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, it's a good point. You know, like, usually, I got like I got stuff to do, so I usually get hunkers for free. I never yeah. like take a hunker. I just like usually get from ability. But um, what cover in this game does is lets you roll additional dice. So um, if you have a hunker and you're out in the open with nothing, you roll one extra die. So you could roll six instead of five. Or and if you're like the most time it happens for me is if I'm on a gantry, like mm-hmm. one of the the paths, and someone's shooting from below up on me. Um, if I have if I don't have a hunker, no no extra dice if i do have a hunker i get two one for the hunker and then one for utilizing the train think of the hunker as like your character actually cares about the train 
no hunker means he's just kind of like he's vibing yeah. right uh yep. up top so uh it's like goes being flat footed yeah. yeah 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 because hunkers stay until that character's next activation so they're there for a while they're pretty important they so yes but they're also removed if that character gets engaged oh okay that i didn't know if right. you enter melee, you lose your hunker tokens unless Kenobi is in your squad because Kenobi has a special ability that says all his buddies don't lose hunker tokens when they're in melee. And they additionally get the effects of hunker tokens when they're defending against melee attacks. Oh, dude. Yeah, maybe that's why I get like so a lot of the characters in this game are like, follow the rules except here. Yeah. <laughs> except here. Don't follow that. So that's that's yep. that's good to know though. Um so if you need to get rid of like because Rex with two hunk, like a hunker token and cover, he's rolling seven defense dice. Yep. So you don't want to be shooting at him because you'll probably not get what you want. So moving up to melee, even with like maybe a subpar melee, will at least cut two, you know, two uh two extra dice right off the top on him, which is pretty strong. Um so but getting that free because you can't move twice, getting that free dash is pretty strong. Uh excellent. So- uh Go ahead. I really so I I think get a move on soldier is like really important because I actually use this to move Anakin almost yeah. all the time. Galactic it's just Republic, like yeah, it, it calls out Galactic Republic, which notably is also Darth Vader. Uh, like like oh. it, there, <laughs> oh, <is it? laughs> like like Darth Vader has that keyword too. So like you could actually make like oh, a, it, e, oh evil, sure does evil, oh, okay. evil. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. You could all make right. like an evil five hundred first with like Rex in it. Hey, um, that works and, yeah. Uh, yeah, so like it's just like basically any anything that's got the Republic tag, you can move with, with uh, Rex. So it it enables a lot of different combos. Uh, next down the line is defensive maneuver. Each character in this unit may uh, dash if the if any character's dash it gains a hunker. So he pays one uh, one force for that. So you could get a move on to himself and then defensive maneuver to to dash twice and then. And you Advanced? would also get two. And you would also get, get two hunkers. Two hunkers, yeah. Man, all right. Yeah. That's that's actually pretty cool. Uh I'm always first, kid. One force. Uh oh, here we go. Let me get my spectacles on. Yep. <laughs> this is the one we were actually joking before the cast that like it's a neat ability, but there's a lot, a lot going on here. So uh if this unit is not wounded. After an allied galactic, cl- after an allied clone trooper supporting unit within range three of this unit makes a combat action, this unit may use this ability. Uh, one character in this unit may dash. If it does, it may make a five dice uh, melee or ranged attack targeting uh, one of the same enemy characters within range and line of sight. Um, so there's a lot of triggers here. Uh, but what it's what it's if we're gonna boil it down, um, if you're within range three of a clone trooper and they attack and you're not hurt, you can uh, probably shoot them more often than not, and then get an extra five die attack out of the deal, uh, which is hey an extra attack, uh, great. Yeah, um, it's it's notable that um, like Rex has a shove is like the first thing on his tree, so like you really only need to get one success through. To shove something and like five dice you can probably roll a crit yeah yeah or, or or an expertise to get the crit right like yeah yeah um so i don't know it, it's like an easy way to kind of like shove things just move things around absolutely um bring it on clankers after an allied clone trooper unit within three of this unit gains a hunker one character that, that one character in that unit may heal <clears throat> so it's either remove a damage or remove a um uh condition mm-hmm. Yep. Um, notably, the conditions in this game are really brutal. They are, They're horrible. They they yeah. really suck. So, uh, <laughs> and I also I, sorry. Go ahead. Go uh, ahead. Also, notably, like if you already have a bleed condition and somebody hands you another bleed, you don't get another bleed. You just take an extra damage. Oh, is that how that works? Okay. Yes. Yes. Oh man. All right. That's really bad. Uh, <laughs> bleed's brutal in this. It's like, um, if you take I. Th- I'm I'm gonna paraphrase here. It's like if you take anything but like a recover action, like if you move or attack, you take like three damage, right? You just take three. Yeah. And the bleed goes away, but like that's a lot. That's not like some games yeah. you can just be like, oh, I'll just I got like I'm on fire or I'm on, you know, whatever condition token. It's like one damage, uh, whatever. I'll just keep moving this. It's like, oh, 
I have to like think this could kill me. So, yeah, like you're you're forced to like recover, and then the other, you know, losing an action is big. Um, yeah, but bleeds nuts. Uh, bleeds really good. And exposed is you don't get, um, uh, hunker, or wait, no, exposed is you don't get expertise on defense. Correct. Uh, and then disarmed is you don't get expertise when attacking. Mm-hmm. And then pinned is you have to take a move action, uh, to get rid of it. So you say I'm moving. And then you, and you get rid of you it. Don't move. And you don't move. Yeah, you say I'm moving, and then and, you don't move, and then you're just and that moving. counts as your move. It sure does. <laughs> yeah. Now that you say that, because I used to think it wasn't too bad. I'm like, oh, I'm going to dash, and then okay, yeah, that's way no, worse. No, you're you're yeah. actually pinned. <laughs> that you're way worse. Um, so that's good. Uh, so like the stats, but it, to the to the good point is like the stats effects mean something. Mm-hmm. A lot of games like uh, you're just like eh. Okay, there's a million stats effects in this game. Like, like I love Malfo, but there's like a page of stats effects. And a lot of times you're like, uh, whatever, just keep going. But this is like they're four and they're good. Um, yeah. And then Brother in Arms, when a unit, while this unit has one or more hunker tokens, characters in this unit has steadfast. Um, what is steadfast? Yeah. So steadfast means that whenever you are being attacked you uh ignore the first shove in their tree oh okay Um, so basically like in rex's tree for example here if he was shooting something with steadfast and you went along the bottom when you selected the first one that first shove wouldn't happen the second one would though assuming that you got there um but basically they just they just ignore that um the first time it happens i do love how his uh stance is called tactical supremacy (laughs) 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 so rex is is pretty good Uh, a couple other notable things is he throws a lot of tyson melee too he's not a nice man uh he just as good in melee as he is in in uh at range um basically uh i think notably one of the things that i found kind of like cool and like weird at the same time about Shatterpoint is like just because you have a lot of offensive dice doesn't actually mean you generally deal a lot of damage correct um so like you know rex has seven dice anakin has eight but anakin does way more damage and in rex's tree there are just like more there there are a like anakin has like three icons in some of his things and rex mm-hmm. only has two but like there are a lot more like status effects and like for instance uh, along the bottom like rex heals something twice like yeah there it's it's a, it's more than just how much damage you do as far as the successes go it can really i don't know they're like it almost i, I i'm starting to feel like these aren't even like attack trees they're just like the amount of you you have to attack in order to enable your abilities and these are like yeah. ability trees almost um, that's an interesting way to look at it yeah yeah. because yeah. it's a lot of times it, like when we first started playing we were like all right seven all right five we roll the dice and we're like uh do i do five damage you know like uh, uh, <laughs> yeah yeah, like, yeah. What, uh, what am i doing um uh, because yeah his first uh, his first one to two expertise on his pistol is just two successes, which can be blocked. Uh, but I mean, two is good for one. Yep. That's pretty good. But you really, if you're going to hit it, three or four is two crits. And that's that's uh, guaranteed without shenanigans, uh, four damage or two shoves and two damage, which is pretty nutty. Um, his, uh, uh, oh wait, that was for his, okay, no, yep. Oh, he just used his blaster pistols with melee and they're the same. Okay, he I don't know. Yep. <laughs> he shoots you. And you got it. He yeah. shoots you from far away, and he shoots you when you're right next to you. Okay, that's he'll shoot funny. you in the face, or he's gonna shoot you in the chest. It depends on how close he is. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny that it actually just kept it the same. Or, uh, I respect yeah. it. And then his clone armor is like, all right, uh, it's okay. A couple blocks. Uh, it's fine. Just, just happy to be here, more or less. We yeah. roll one. Like, <laughs> glad to show um, up. It is worth noting that the range is called out on Rex's um, yes. Rex's gun. Um, five is the maximum range band you can shoot, uh, which is really actually not that far. Yeah. Um, in at least in comparison to other games I'm used to, um, you know, you would think that somebody with like a sniper rifle, uh, maybe would should be able to shoot across the whole board, but they can only shoot range five. Um, <laughs> I'm, lo- I'm looking at you, Garsack. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> Just the sad Saxon sounds in the background. Yeah. Um. But obviously, that's like a gameplay a thing for gameplay, so it's fine. But um, that is where range is called out on the range attacks. Yeah, it's interesting that the pistols actually go the max range. Like to your point, like 
Dryptigar real quick, like his rifle is five, and the rifle it's less dice too. So yeah. it's not only is it five, uh, same as like I mean, I guess that could be a call out to like if I'm really gonna like spin my brain around it, is like Rex is just so good with this, like he's just those are his guns that it doesn't really matter how far away it's like five is where the laser stops being a laser and just disappears the light. And he's like, all right, I can make this thing hit like whatever I want. Right. If yeah. I have to like really rip around it, but uh, yeah, it's uh, most things that shoot are, Oh, okay. Four. All right. Yeah. never mind. Yeah. And Cody's so uh, his DC 15 is just as like far as the DC 17 pistol. Oh, I didn't notice they're like a model off still. Would it, Oh, like what do you mean? DC 15. Uh, and then, like, I guess it's just the name of the DC 17. I didn't realize yeah. those pistols were DC 17s. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. oh, no, my Star Wars nerd showing up. <laughs> Losing it, boys. Um, but yeah, I think it's I think it's strange that he shoots five uh, just because it's a pistol. I think that's like a three year. But then, man, if it was three, uh, he's not shooting anything, right? No, like, it's no. you're, it yeah. needs almost needs to be five. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so Rex pretty good. Uh, feels like Rex, which is yeah, yeah, cool. And he combo, you know, get a move on soldier combos really well with Anakin, and all of his other stuff combos really well with the five hundred first guys. And then speaking of, just happy to be here. Yeah, five hundred first clone troopers. Um, the supporting units so far I've found have like pretty basic abilities in contrast to the primary yeah. and secondary units. Um, so this card's like pretty easy. They've got defensive maneuver, which also costs a force. Um, and uh, it's the same keyword that uh, that Rex had, except mm -hmm. notably it has the same text, but it does say each character in this unit may dash. If any character is dash, this unit gets hunger. You get to dash with two characters as opposed to one, right? um which is kind of cool um they've got coordinated fire bleed which for all of you legion players out there this is just fire support this is it this is yeah. fire support um and basically except it doesn't cost you anything basically um and uh coordinated fire just like if they're within five and something else um attacks a unit that's within five of them you can use this ability and hand whatever is getting targeted a bleed token pretty good it's we're just excellent. talking about how good bleed is bleeds pretty good yeah yeah um notably this is kind of like the um as fire support and legion is like the uh republic keyword coordinated fire is kind of like the republic like um trooper keyword except like each different um Clone unit had like hands out a different status effect. Basically, I think the I think the two twelve like hands out like weapon disrupted or pin. Yeah, or I think so. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then they've got brothers in arms, which is the same ability that Rex has, which just means that when they have a hunker token, they get steadfast. And with Rex, um, I believe one of Rex's abilities was like it had to do with clones getting hunker tokens. So this kind of combos in in with that, and it's pretty easy to get hunker tokens on them. Yeah. Um. Their their stat card as far as their tree goes, it's pretty uh, welcome to a supporting units tree. Yeah, you, right. You right. only get like <laughs> one symbol. One of the things I noticed with these guys was that like they don't do like any damage. Yeah, so basically like the max damage you can do with them is five. And like I also found that generally you're like maybe pinning something and like getting two damage and like that's that's what you're getting. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. Um, that's fair. I think in uh somebody wrote. I think it was uh, AJST in our uh, in our fifth trooper group wrote an article and they talked about these guys being like, like the, the only I read the article like I skim through it at work, but the one point that actually stands out is I saw these guys like yeah they're really great like backline like the objective that's kind of in the corner that you don't want anyone getting close to like they can just shoot you as you as you're coming in and pin you and make it really obnoxious to like try to get to you and I'm like oh yeah okay yeah I see that uh, that makes sense. But if they are up there with Rex, getting to say, "Hey, take it for you, bleed," yeah, like it's pretty good. And and notably, the coordinated fire does not call out uh, ranged or melee attacks. So like you can coordinate fire on top of the on top of the melee as well. So if like Anakin swings at something that's range five of the clone troopers, they still they still bleed bleed it out. Bleed. Yep. Pretty good. Yeah. Uh, 
they're uh they've got range five seven dice five defense which is pretty good like it's about standard a melee yeah. is a little worse at five and four uh so they don't really want to get meleeed um their uh, expertise is useless uh, yeah it's really <laughs> like uh you get another one to three is one extra success four plus is a crit which is like that's what crits are what you want you want expertise to crits but like four you you deserve a crit if you roll four uh, expertise <laughs> right like here you go you did it and then yeah. the bash is just like extra bad just one success uh phase two clone mar- phase two clone armor like um like uh rex and then yeah, the other tree is like pin couple damage bleed shove heal it's yeah it's just a hey you've how many points are they they're like Three points and then Rex is four. So yeah, they're they're pretty cheap. I think they're like right next to the B ones and Magna Guard are three points too. Yeah, I, yeah. They are I it's weird. I like <laughs> I almost think they just should have made everything cost the same. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> because they pretty much practically do, but yeah, yeah. It's whatever. because um, uh, man, they uh but they don't have a okay, they don't have a gun. I guess that's their uh yeah, their bad point. Um I mean I'm just scarred by Magna and Legion. Like Magna here, How, who, who who let them in? Who told them I was at this party? Right, like it's right. a oh god. Uh, so uh, but no, they're like I mean, look, they there's a back objective. You got two of those boys. You send them off in different directions if you have to to like let your main characters do good stuff. Um, or they stick it together just to be because like we're with I asked earlier, like they both get to shoot if you fire. So it's like fourteen dice shooting at something. You may not do anything. Uh, you may I mean like that. You may not do like. 100 damage like you're hoping for but like it's real obnoxious to get pinned and bled and like you like it should feel like that when you're approaching trained soldiers that they're just like holding you back uh so i guess that's kind of the feel they're going for they're just like yeah you'll good luck getting out of here like yeah wait for uh wait for papa anakin to show up and give you the slap so pretty much <laughs> yep pin him down wait for the jedi to get there which is thematic you know yeah i mean that's that's like how it was right so I say it like it's like World War Two. That's how it was back when they fought, right? Like it's back like, in the day, back in the day, <laughs> we're still finding bits of Kaiba crystal in the oceans of uh, the Pacific. Um, no. But uh, no, I mean that's a five hundred first in a uh, in a roundabout nutshell. Um, they're like excellent, just play together uh, and put it out of the box and say go. Um, they all have stuff that works together, and Anakin's just a like a very effectively good beat stick uh but that's he should be like that's his you know if you're gonna be a beat stick be good at it nothing worse than like a character who's meant to be a bruiser and they're just kind of not looking at you general grievous oh god whoa greg he'll get his (laughs) he'll get his real name back when he's actually like good right now (laughs) yep 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 once once we get him in shatter point and he's good he can he can start redeeming himself from the years of being terrible in legion dude that Um, model looks so sick and and holy cow, I'm really excited. And so to that point, he did get um uh, if you haven't heard, um, a lot of people got the model to paint and like open up and look at, but he's not coming out till September now. Um, let me just double check that. I think as you know what, that's fine. We're I don't know what I'm doing over here. Uh shop dot as my day. And then oh, we do by release, release calendar. Don't dox yourself here. I know. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. That's fair. Um, yeah, it's fine. Uh, da, 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 da. So July 7th is um, uh, the Jedi Hunters, which is cool. The Inquisitors. Then we got um, uh, the Luminara pack. And then the You Cannot Run pack. And then I think it's I think it's quiet. Yeah, it just puts into summer. And I know... Cad Bane is full of credits. Yeah, that's cool. I'm actually excited to see a non like uh saber magic user as a leader, like what they do with his, like maybe he's got explosives or something. Sure. Like, you know, something yeah. cool. I mean, I feel like it probably is like very similar to like how Rex feels a little bit. Like, you know, like yeah, still it's it still probably has like a bunch of pushes and stuff on the card, but um yeah, I don't know. All these models look so dope. Oh, yeah. that's look so at you, sick. my man. I, uh, I'm only great. buying Re- Republic stuff. 
right now, which uh, I do have a bone to pick about that. Because I'm only playing Republic, I also had to buy Inquisitors and Darth Vader. Man, my life sucks so hard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, actually... Uh, so I get why they said the uh, You Cannot Run pack is Clone Wars as well as Galactic Civil. Um, just for a, like, hey, you're not... Before we release all the Civil War stuff, like you can still use them, I guess. Uh, yeah. But to be fair, again, this is the uh, the lizard in my brain. It's like I'd rather Darth Vader Civil War. He's yeah, yeah, yeah over yeah. there. Don't no, we don't but, need Op Vader here. We're good. But I mean, like, I would love to play Operative Vader in my Republic list, you know. Um, yeah. And I'm okay with playing Vader with like you know, like alternate alternate reality, like Vader Rex Five O First. Yeah, yeah, like you dark, know, uh, like, like dark you times. Could, like, paint up like a dark ahsoka too to lead the other squad and that'd be cool that would that'd that'd actually be... be real sick yeah yeah also um, uh yeah grievous is not till september no um they said unforeseen circumstances and like if, if i just had to guess uh shipping sucks shipping yeah. miserable um a container could have got lost in like that's super common like we're very fortunate the fifth trooper that like 99 percent of our orders have come on on time but we're also nowhere near what a uh you know mega like conglomerate is shipping uh you know through so like it's just happens man like there's that one sad time do you remember when uh, e- uh yoda and the wookies like disappeared and then before that the real uh the one that's the real feels bad was uh, the ship that was con- carrying all of X-Wing 2.0 for Brazil just sunk. They lost. I mean, tragedy, boat sunk. Let me, let me put that at the top of the article. Oh, man. But, like, but my miniatures were at the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, how, like, how dare <laughs> they? But, uh, yeah, they lost everything. So, actually, it was really cool. The X-Wing community rallied, and then, like, everyone bought and just sent them, like, stuff and, like, extra stuff. So, that's neat. But, yeah, we've got Parties Overpack coming. I think that's in... Oh, that's August. Yep, this is this is what I'm here for right here. Dude. My 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 boy Mace and Clone Commander Pons and Dude, the, the I think it's it. Wolfpack. Dude, those eyes really good. Yeah, it I'm looks like, like just like the the uh the Clone Wars like animated like I yeah I don't know. Oh, it's got the little, um, little OSL there. Okay, my man, whoever's painting, he's doing a good job. Totally, you know. Um, and I'm just I'm I'm ready I'm ready I also want Mason Legion but I will settle for this 100 percent yeah so. I mean I think the real uh, uh, the real crime is uh, clone commandos <laughs> like don't general. get me started <laughs> don't get me started but I do like uh, the dynamic um, the dynamic poses they got yeah so like behind a wall a grenade and that makes that gives me hope that like maybe we'll see like. Because I I just read an article that they're remastering um Republic Commando. Oh uh, really? And so that would be really neat if they said, "Hey, here's the boys in a four pack." Like, okay. Yeah, yeah. Got it. No, I do it. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about all of this. I think it's just it's fantastic. It's gonna be it's gonna be really swell. Um, I think we're gonna get to explore a lot of characters that we don't get to see in other and other games that are our favorite so absolutely yeah so uh you got anything else before we we wrap this puppy up uh no i think i'm good um i think our plan was bi-weekly uh but depending on how that's our current plan may go longer may go shorter depending on how much we want to do like our time commitments uh but um and uh we'll try to get uh you know, we'll get some other guests on once in a while. Talk about Chatterpoint. Um, we'll be at events. Uh, I'll be at Gen Con. Uh, if I, I'm I'm looking to scrubbing out at Legion. So see me <laughs> mopingly, sadly towards Chatterpoint and be like, "Please just game." You're not gonna scrub <laughs> out of Legion. You say that like you're you're like, "Oh man, I'm like not good at Legion." Meanwhile, he's like, you know, you you you. Did you make the finals at Nova last year? Or I, it... I did. Yeah. Okay. Uh, All right. So let's. I have my let's... moments of spark. Uh, let's be real. And it was a brew too. Like, come on, oh, dude. Yeah, that was. Uh, oof. Like, I've never like. <laughs> Kyle like just picked like it's a like I was a berserker 
just moving up all my models and then like he was a, like the brave fencer just poking me down it was a good game but i'm like wow i'm getting outplayed but uh but i i'm actually looking forward to this at um at gen con uh just to see what their like tables look like yeah. like what what actually that's a good point like um if you ever did an event most everyone's got the starter so like just everyone brings their starter you're like pretty much good to go right it's yeah. just you don't have to like do too much there the train um, in the starter box is really uh it's spectacular it's, it's spectacular all you need is a three by three mat which you can find on somebody's website i'm pretty sure um absolutely yeah i mean well, maybe we <laughs> yeah. might have some of those uh yeah yeah um but uh no i just want to say um i love the game look forward to more content from us and uh you know we'll be at events uh for this so you can talk to us there and uh yeah uh, we'll catch you next time and everyone stay red see you next time everybody this has been the high ground a fifth trooper production